This is why we only have to have the fit people with us. Yes, my sister, how you feeling? I've been working out for like two months for this job. We got this. <laughs> I ain't lying. Okay. Is whipping uh, you back in shape? Oh, oh. Trying to, yeah. Oh, uh, here we find ourselves in the forest. Mm -hmm. We have two types of forest here. This is the original and this is regenerated forest. Uh, meaning that this place where you are behind us to the um, uh, reception area has been farmed before. This place, no. No farming before. Okay. Yeah. Now, people can easily get missing here. So there are trails. When they come here, the main attraction um, that a lot of people like is the canopy walkway. And that's what we are going to do. Canopy walkway is in seven bridges. Um, and the bridge, you have a <coughs> wing uh, on both sides that you can hold it and then walk in the middle. Uh, none of us is afraid, so I won't talk about whatever. Nobody's just taking walk, the chicken way out. <laughs> just walk in the middle of it and look straight from one end to the other. And goes in a semicircle form. Okay. <clears throat> so we are going to do that. Some people come here and they, all that we want to do to learn the medicinal potency of some of the trees over here. They are not interested in the canopy walkway, but about the plants, about the tree, about the leaves, about what not. And then they also come and learn. Now there are others also who come here and they come here in the night. Do you know what they want to do? They want to sleep in the forest. So on this lane we have a, a tree that a big tree that they have built like an accommodation on top of the tree that you go there uh huh like something like this something like that over there so you can go there you pay for it and then you go there take a nice slip a deep slip in the forest and then the following day you know you go out the third thing also is that um there are people who are researchers who also come here to research on various animals, plants, and whatnot. And they, especially if you want to do in the animal, I have done that once in my lifetime with some Germans. And what we do is that we, they brought a dress, we wear, we gave them the letter, they really uh, gave us one guide with a, a rifle. And then we go to the forest in deep of the night. We started around 11 o'clock and we closed around 3.30. And we were here just we want to see the habitats of this animal. And then that, this is the only place that I saw a python, about seven feet. Here? Is seven feet. Is somebody one that's behind you? Oh, yes. About seven feet, very long. And then tortoise and a whole lot. There are elephants here, there are dikers, but we can't see them here. Where we are, we can't see them. Why? Because there are two main things. The reason, the two reasons why we can't see them is one, these are animals who don't like noise. So when we're coming, we're talking, we're making noise. Children come here and they scream. People come here and then they shout. It drives the animals away. Two, people also kill them for food, bush meat. So when they hear the noise, they thought you are going to kill them. So they will go far away. But if you want to see them, then very deep in the night, uh, you come, you well dressed with your boots, with your cap, everything, uh, <coughs> gloves, then we'll be able to go there to see the animals. But we over here right now want to just walk on the canopy. So from here, we're going to walk on the canopy. Now, as we are going, this is the home of animals. Okay. So there are animals maybe lying on top of a tree. So when you shake the tree, you drop it. And you can imagine if the killer bees, they will say hi. They come, and, they come and shake your hands, and their their hand shaking is terrible. Or if there is a snake on top, relaxing, and then you shake. Maybe you have taken his uh, lunch already, and uh, you shake it down. Or he's angry, and you shake it down. Uh, he also say, "Who are you?" Just come and say welcome, and their welcome is terrible. It's bad. So please don't disturb them. We are just walking, let's walk straight. Don't shake any tree, don't do anything. We don't take anything out from here outside. And we don't bring things in. What I'm saying is that don't litter. We don't litter here. And then when you are going, we don't pick pieces of leaves and all those things. Everything here, we just leave them here. Thank you so much. And just follow me. And, and there's one people about the snakes on that side. <laughs>
All right, so this is where the snakes are on the tree, so be careful, everybody, watch your head. If you got locks, be careful. Don't be Watch out. As a matter of fact, I see a snake skin right there. Now, as you are walking, please don't lift your head, but rather look on the ground because yes. there are stumps oh and there are roots. So so that you Eric, you might have to protect Amity because I, I, think, I think they're looking for the, the person that's. <laughs> Snakes oh. is coming for you. It makes you a haunted video. <laughs> <laughs> When you gotta be careful since you got locks, I think we're just falling in here and just. And I would say some scissors to cut about these airboards. I'm talking about one or two trees and we go. Now, this one is called Chen Chen in our local language, Chen Chen. Now, Chen Chen is what in the olden days they use as a dress. They cut the back and then they use a stick to beat it. When they beat it, they sew it together to cover their nakedness. In the old, <coughs> so metal, hundreds of years ago. To cover their nakedness. Right now, that chain chain, people use it uh, to make cloth. They use it to make a lot of uh, uh, what you call medicine as well. It's a medicine, too. and it's a, a, a wood to. It's a soft wood that people cut for um, uh, in board to support their uh, construction work. Yeah. So this is chain chain. There's another big one ahead of us. In fact. All right, so we're, we're, we're at closing time now. Yeah. And I, now this place closes at 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock. I'm almost trying to confirm. Yeah, four this o'clock, is right? the black ebony. See, ebony tree. What? Ebony tree. Yeah, and so, so family, wonderful. see ebony, and then right up on the ebony tree, see that long snake? <laughs> He's coming down. Oh, but ladies, be careful. Oh, I say you don't have a mom. <laughs> <laughs> hey, see, here's the thing. I ain't gonna know. I ain't gonna know when you're serious because you choke it all the time. <laughs> I'm all paranoid now. Hey, Bomani really gonna be serious one time with a snake. Let me know it ain't. Trust me. If a real snake was falling, you motherfucker will know. I'm real. <laughs> you can keep joking. Yeah. Hey, family, uh, we're creeping we're through the forest. Snake, I'm gone. I'm out of here. Just bite his ass. Uh, you cannot. Uh, show your naked hands in, 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 in public. Um, you have to show it to only your husband mm -hmm. or your boyfriend. But if you show it to the whole world, uh, it's against our culture. And that's what people were talking about. We are creeping through Kakum National Forest on our way to the canopy walk. The swinging canopy. I'm wondering who's going to be screaming today when the canopy starts swinging and moving to the forest. I already saw your YouTube videos and how you mess with people. <laughs> I mess with people. You got a whole little song. Uh-huh. Poor little Bomani. He was going through it. They're coming for you. Be careful. Let me creep into the forest. Unfortunately for our family, not all of us will make it back alive. This is one of those missions on the brave soldiers. It's kind of like an elite, elite group of a Navy SEALs climbing through the forest. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. That, that is a chain chain tree that I was talking about. Look at down there. Very huge one. So these trees are where snakes love to hang out with. So we are gonna find some of the family. Oh my god, I think one got me! 